Branded or not branded? Oh no, unbranded, isn't it? Woo! Which tastes better, Reeve? Thea, can I just say you're looking extra beautiful today, man. I can't even see you. No, oh, I can't see you. You can't see? Wait, have you got yours on as well? Yeah, have you actually got yours on as well? Yeah, have you? <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Which tastes better though, branded or unbranded? Well, we're about to find out because we have a bunch of real brands and, well, yeah, like little version, mm. basically. I'm fuming, by the way. Why? Because I was prefaced that this video was going to be right up my street and... Ah, you, uh, you thought you were something else, didn't you? Everything here is just not in my dietary requirements. Yeah. Oh. For example, we'll get given Cocoa Pops and Choco Rice and you have to tell me which one is which. But the stipulation is this, you have the blindfold on. You can't see them. It's a good idea, really. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. We're going to start off with the choco rice and the cocoa pops. You got milk or are you just eating them? Eating dry. dry. <sighs> okay, Ben. Fill the bowl. The yummy food, in it comes. Oh, that ain't cocoa pop. See, I don't want to make any assumptions already. I don't think it is. That doesn't taste chocolatey enough. Oh, we're going to have to compare it with the other one. Where's the other bowl? <laughs> I think that was choco rice. Reeve, we've got the second bowl here. <laughs> Where is it? Each take our It already sounds like cocoa pops, man. Talking to me. Ooh. Ooh, I'm conflicted. Oh, that's annoying. That is really annoying. They taste the same. That's identical. That is actually identical. If anything, that's just made me realise that I could buy choco rice for two pound cheaper. Or... I will say this, Reed. I think the second one was more chocolatey, but I don't know whether that's just because I put too more chocolate in my mouth when I've already had chocolate in my mouth. I will say, though, the pieces in this one were smaller than the pieces in the first one, I which I... makes me think that this is cocoa pops and the first one was choco rice. Yeah, my vote is the first one was choco rice, the second one was cocoa pops. I'm going to agree with you, Mr. Baker. Okay, you ready to reveal your art eyebrows? That's Cocoa Pops. It's Cocoa Pops. We got it right. Is this Choco Rice? We got it wrong. We got it wrong. What? You promised me the first one was Cocoa Pops and the second one's Choco Rice. Oh, they are bigger. I got it the other way around then. Oh, that's annoying. Doesn't that just show you though? What's the point? We're going to stick with the cereal vibe. Honey Cheerios and we've got Honey hoops. honey hoops. How did they come up with that name? Cranfield is the same brand that do Choco Rice. They've obviously done a very good job, so theoretically these are going to why, right why are Cranfields not getting enough of plagiarism here? If anything, yeah, people should just come away from this video and go, wow, Cranfield are the goat. Don't buy brands. Buy Cranfield. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did you just try one? Yep. <laughs> Blindfolds on and Ben, mix the hoops. <laughs> Real Madrid. That ain't honey Cheerios. There's no way. Do you think you've just tried real or fake? I have no idea. They were pretty honey nini nini though. Oh, I've got this one right. I know the answer. No, I know the answer. This one here is honey hoops, and the first one I tried was Cheerios. Interesting, because that's exactly what I think. More cylindrical, like a donut. What? What do you mean? No, I just did it on taste, man. They all look the same. No, 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 no. Listen, I'm like Daredevil right now. I can't see, but my other senses are heightened. You can feel the edges. I can feel like the edges. <laughs> Yes! Get an angle of these, Ben. Sharp, square, curvy. On the lens. Oh, that one's going to look like a little knuckleball. <laughs> I have to say I'm running out of once to describe this lad. All right, Reeve. We've got real Lucid Sport Orange. Yeah. And we've got Boost Sport Isotonic Orange. Should be the same. Or will they be the same? I'm really confident in this one. No, I'm confident in this do you know one. How I, do you know how I believe I'm confident? How? Because look, Sponsor of the TCS London Marathon. I have had this drink. And I'm going to have it when I run the London Marathon. Raising money for Laurier Sport for Good. It's all about helping young children through the medium of sport. And if you want to donate right now to help me run the London Marathon, because I've not done enough training, so every donation gives me confidence. Click the link in the description down below. Please, actually, please don't. We need to hit a target, so please donate. These cups are mine. And these cups are mine. Do you have herpes of the mouth? We're going to put our blindfolds on, and Ben is going to top up El Glessico. Nice. The drinks are filled. Point me in the direction, Daddy. Okay, Reeve, cheers, man. Cheers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to look so stupid. I think that is Lucas Aid. I'm getting hints of... Oh, you think it's Boost? That's quite sharp. Have you got yours? Got an actual bottle of drink. <laughs> Oh, that's Lucas Aid. That tastes like Lucas Aid. If we get this wrong, that's really embarrassing. Yeah, no, it is. We're both endurance athletes. And I drink a lot of Lucas Aid. Yeah. Boost right. Boost right. Two, one. Yes! yes! Come on, Danny! We know squash and orange. I'm an isotonic drink connoisseur. It was a bit more squashy, wasn't it? Okay, let's do fucking Coke now. 100 mils, 40 calories, bro. That's like drinking liquid sugar. No thanks, I choose life. So you pull really small amounts of this. This is the worst one for me, because I don't like Coca-Cola. I haven't had regular Coca-Cola in about 20 years. It cringes me out, the color of it. Interesting. It just looks like liquid sugar shit. 
The silhouette of a Coca-Cola bottle is iconic. Relax. Oh yeah. Don't be excessive with the pour of Ben. I only want a little, little bit. Just a wee shot. Bingo bongo. Trying to keep the sugar levels down. I'd never buy a Coca-Cola and vodka or Coca-Cola in general. Let alone a freeway. But if I'm mind sweeping on a night out, it's <laughs> a drink, mate. Fuck it out. What does mind sweeping mean? Where you go around and drink other people's drinks. That is disgusting. That's what I did. Can you pour really small amounts of this? Hey, yeah. what is... You poured half a pint of Coca-Cola here. There is a lot of Coca. Or freeway cola. We don't know. Oh, this is going to be horrible, man. I don't like it. I already know the result. I've got your other drink. You know right. what? It's actually not horrendous, you know. Yeah. I've tasted worse. Okay, second one. It smells the same. Oh, my God. I thought I had the answer, and now I just don't know. Can I get a reference point from the first one again? I have a feeling I got this. Oh my god, bro, this is not even... Do they taste the same? They do. Coca-Cola, Freeway. Okay, I'm gonna go Coca-Cola, Freeway. Oh, I got it wrong. Yes! Oh, I got it wrong. Yes! Oh no! You see, the, re the reason how I knew it is because I drank them back to back. Really? Yeah. With a little separation in time, they taste identical. Yeah, note to self, don't drink Coca-Cola. It wasn't bad though, it wasn't horrendous. I've tasted worse than that in my life. I mean, it is the most popular drink on the planet, isn't it? So. I'd say water is. Purchasable drink, yeah. You are now winning 3 2. Come on! Well done, McGeeve! Are you ready for this? Digestives and digestives. digestives. <laughs> How are they allowed to call them both digestives? That's one's by is. McVitie's, which is the original, and one's by Tower Gate. The name digestives isn't actually copyright, is it? And you know, Sellotape is a brand name. The same as Jacuzzi? No. Yeah. No. When they've been. No. Yeah. You're telling me Jacuzzi is a brand name and not an actual thing? Yeah. Same as Hoover? No. That's the way. No, Tower Gateway. Oh, oh that's a digestive. They're both really good. Digestive, Tower Gate. I've got it wrong, I never know. I just know I have. The one on the right is a better bait. Yeah, it is. This is a wild guess for me, man. Okay, point to digestive. Three, two, one. I got it right! Oh. I got it right! Damn it, Daniel. Yes! Fair play, Tower Gate. Good job, guys. Yeah, that's three all now. I've tied it up. I've been fooled. I'm no Paul Hollywood, eh? <laughs> Next up, we have Kit Kat and <laughs> Shock attack. Yeah, but it's Tower Gate again. Tower Gate? I'm worried, you know. They're a good little company. They do a good job. If you get it wrong and I get it right, I take the lead. It's currently 3 all. That's what happens in a draw. Which one's right. which? I don't know. I'm going right first, by the way. I'm going to be yeah. Okay. Well, that is good. That's Nestle chocolate. That is Nestle chocolate for sure. And it's fatter as well. Oh, no. Oh, f They taste the same. I've just finished a whole Nestle Maltesers egg after Easter. <laughs> These taste buds are warm to Nestle chocolate. That is Nestle. I'm gonna, not gonna lie to you and say they taste different because they taste the same. Point to Kit Kat, okay? Three, two, one. <laughs> I got it right! Yeah. What? Look at that, have a break. Have a Kit Kat. Feel free to me. Do you know what, that actually tastes more like Nestle than that. No, it can't. No, it can't. Can't. Doesn't bite it. Yeah. Yum, 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 yum. Hmm? Hmm. Cadbury's chocolate fingers versus Towergate chocolate fingers. It's just an advert for Towergate at this point. I know my way around a chocolate finger and what they taste like. I should get this right. How many can you shove up your bum? Okay. Right. Finger us. Oh. No way. That's Tower Gateway. Actually, what is it? This is the easiest one so far. This is so simple. I'm ready. I'm ready. Point to Cadbury's. I'm not finished my second one yet. I'm pointing to Cadbury's. You ready? One. I told you I knew my way around a chocolate finger. I'm not gonna eat that, because I'm not fat. But it was good. That was really good. I do love a finger. Do you know what my favorite thing is that we're doing next? We're doing Doritos, yeah? Crisps, after chocolate, are sensational. Good, yeah, good, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I've got a feeling I'm gonna get this right. I feel like Doritos are iconic. Black vote on board! Come on, boy! Did you just have one? You could pair this video up with a, a day in the life of 2015 uh, Chippo Crimes diet. Or the lockdown diet. Half a Kit Kat, two crisps. Bit of juice world on the radio. Yeah, half a glass of Coca Cola. <laughs> right one first. That's so good, though. If this tastes the same, I'm going to be fuming. Oh my god! That is so annoying. I have no idea. I actually think I know. I've got this. For shower, I'm going to point at Dorito now. Me too. Yes! We know Doritos. Do you know, do you know why? More flavour. They were very, very similar though, to be fair. Well, we got that right, mate. It's 6-5 yeah, to still me. Ahead. You're still ahead. If I win this, Arsenal win the league. If there's anything I'm confident about today, it's knowing the difference between Oreos and Neos. Why are they called them Neos? Because they are the one. Put me in the matrix quickly, man. 
I'm an Oreo connoisseur. And trust me, Daddy, I'm getting this one right and retaining my lead. I should know this, you know why? Why? Because I am Keanu Reeve. I've only just got it. That's good, right? Yeah, that was good. I like that one. High Smooth, five. baby. Try again. Trembaloni. Oh. Did you see Liverpool in for Kostic sit on? No, who's he? Sit on these nuts. Oh! Oh, mine's crumbled already. So there's mine a little bit. Interesting. I'm tying the right one now. Okay. Oh. I know it. This is the easiest one so far. Do you think? Yeah. Is it easier than chocolate fingers? Trust me, I'm pointing at Oreos right now. I'm pointing at Neo. Two, one. Yes! This tasted a bit higher quality, didn't it? It just tasted nicer. Like this was yeah. a bit wheaty. Yeah, I got the Oreo correct there. It's seven six to Baker. It's about taking part. Stop eating them under the table. You're on a diet. Thanks for inviting me to this fucking video. <laughs> okay, up next we have Choco Nusa. Hazelnut chocolate spread. Oh, it doesn't have the... What are you doing? There's usually a knife in the top so you can... Since when? I think these are gonna be very similar, you know. Ben will have to spoon us one at a time. Why do birds suddenly appear? <laughs> Why have you given me a spoon like this? No one hands a spoon like that. This is gonna be really sickly, isn't it? Like a spoon full of Nutella or chocolate nissa. Gladiator, ready. Oh yeah, I know exactly what that is. I don't even need to try. I'm gonna do this without trying both. Yes, Ben, he's got it. Is this upside down? <laughs> <laughs> I think you've made a bad decision by thinking you know what it is. I do know what it is. Guarantee you I got this correct. What do you think the first I, one I was? I thought the first one was chocolate pusa. <laughs> but now I think the second one is. First one is chocolate moussa. I know Nutella. I'll go the first one is Nutella. Oh, we're going different. It was Nutella. Yes! I told you you made a mistake by not going for the second. Disappointed, are we? <laughs> Mistakes were made. <laughs> I 100% you think... thought the first one was chocolate noosa until I had the second one. The second one was so not hazelnutty and bland. Damn it, man. I reckon, I reckon raw dog it. Nah, man, you can't have cold beans. That's, That's part of the video, though. That's not gonna kill you. Can you have cold beans? Heinz baked beans, and we've got Sainsbury's baked beans. Back in my uni days, I reckon I'd nail this first time. See, I reckon I'd nail this. I know, uh, trust me, it's like you can't ever have, um, never had cold, uncooked baked beans before. Well, they are cooked. No, they're, they're not. I've got bean juice all over me. Okay, mate, we're gonna try these straight out of the tin. Because they're the same tin, we won't know which one's which. I was confident if they're heated, but I don't know what cold beans are like. You ever been in the cubs? Shout out my beavers, my beaver gang. Not directly, I mean like when I was in beavers, because obviously they're like eight year olds. Shout out my scouts. Right, bean us up. Beans, beans, good for the heart. The more you eat, the more you fart. Have you had the big old heart? No, because we like to fart in, in your face. Bean. Oh, this is gonna be fucking grim, isn't it? Okay. Oh, that's a good bean. Okay, flip over. No, I'm pretty sure I, d I know what I just had. I know the answer. I know the answer. Oh, it's upside down. I am so confident in the answer that if I get this wrong, I will go to Heinz Corporation. No. And what? I'm more confident. No, I am. This one. I'm holding Heinz. Three, two, one. <gasps> Do you know what's really bad? What? I had that first, yeah. and in my head, that's Heinz. And then I had that, and I thought, no, that's Heinz. Do you think it's because that's no sugar? That'll be it. No, this is low sugar as well, though. Tell you what. We should know Heinz. Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's you baked beans. A good baked bean. Mate, I tell you what, though, I would always refuse to get a non branded Heinz baked beans. Now you've opened the door to a, a world of imagination. So we drew. Oh. Well then. I was so confident. What? That was the most confident I've been as well. I've been. Come on! The moral of this video, the moral of the story is brands don't mean everything. Yeah, sure. If you've enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> Have you got a spoon in your hand as well? Yeah. Full of Cocoa Pops? No, no spoon. Oh. Just an empty spoon of Cocoa Pops. Oh? It's just an empty spoon. Of Cocoa Pops? No Cocoa Pops. So it's just a spoon? It's just an empty spoon, yeah.